Preserving Conditions That Make Life Wonderful. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 500. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. And One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our October 23rd, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update. And it it's also our 500th weekly progress update. So 500 weekly progress updates is what we put out. I'm wearing my I love you shirt to commemorate the moment and further emphasize the importance of this moment. 500 weekly progress updates, pretty big deal. And our topic of the day is preserving conditions that make life wonderful. How perfect is that for a 500th update? So, and this is what we're doing. Like everything you see in the background of our video here is about preserving conditions that make life wonderful. And more specifically, like one community asked ourselves for years, I mean, for 10 years before I founded this project, I was asking myself, like, what is the best that we could do? As I was learning about organic food and understanding, like, herbicides and pesticides and learning about toxins in our environment and, like, what the poisons are that are in our houses, like, in our paints and in our adhesives and in our carpet and our building materials, the things that wood is treated with to make it so that bugs don't want to eat it, you know, looking at uh, like the psychology, like human psychology and what is the most in, what is most enriching to people on like, on the really deep soul level, you know, what do people need to be happy, you know, looking at education models and like, what is the best education, uh, what are the best education models in the world? Like what makes Waldorf so special? What makes Montessori so special? What makes Orf so special? These kinds of things. And so one community asked the question, how do we create an environment dedicated to preserving conditions that make life wonderful. Like how do we create the most amazing environment possible? How do we grow the most healthy and nutritious food possible? You know, how do we create completely sustainable energy infrastructure? How do we build houses that don't have toxic uh, building materials in them and that will last longer than traditional houses that will cost less to maintain because they last longer. Like how do we build a house in the last 500 years? Well, earth bag construction has been demonstrated to do that. There's houses in the Middle East right now that are 500 years old that were that are built with earth, earth bag construction. You know, and so, and then how do we look at fulfilled living? Like how do we create the most fulfilling environment possible that just nurtures the human soul and, and really like, is thriving on the human level, you know? And so all these different components, we've taken the physical foundations of sustainability, the food, the energy, the housing, and we've combined those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are fulfilled living practices, what we call high school approaches to education, economics, and true earth stewardship. We're putting all this together to demonstrate a thriving, abundant, luxury lifestyle, luxury community living that redefines like a millionaire lifestyle, luxury living as access instead of ownership and demonstrates that through cooperation and collaboration, we can create an environment where we have more time to do the things that we want to do and more things to do within that environment and more access to all the toys and goodies and whatever it is that people are, you know, most inspired by that, that excites people the most. And maybe that is, you know, maybe it's the access to the ability to just like start a pickup football game or a soccer game or a basketball game by just walking out your door and putting out a notice to all your neighbors saying, hey, this is what we're doing. Or maybe it's that there's a reading club that's happening every single week, you know, and you could just participate in that every day on Monday. And there's also yoga within walking distance and exercise. And there's, uh, you know, there's a nature walk that's constantly happening. And maybe like you're most excited about gardening. And so you're sharing your gardening skills one day out of the week. So maybe it's like what it is that you're sharing, the growth opportunities that you're sharing with other people, you know, or maybe it's access to toys, you know, things like uh, jet ski or a quad or you know whatever that is and through cooperation and collaboration we're demonstrating that a resource-based economy the highest good economics models that we're putting together are the way to provide that level of access without all the expense 
you know, through a community model like what it is we're creating, you can have more of that stuff. Imagine if just you and 50 of your friends were to take, just as a super simple example, all the board games that you currently have available to you. Just all the games that you have available. And you were to put that into a game library so that you could all have access to it whenever that you want. How much, how comprehensive would that library be? Even if half of your friends don't care about board games, now that half would have access to all those different things right at their fingertips just by sharing that. And if a board game gets broken or lost, and you all share ownership, you know, so hopefully everybody's taking care of it. But if something gets ruined or broken or needs to be upgraded or maybe a new version of that comes out and, and people really like it, then you pull your resources and say, oh, well, we're going to buy the new version of that board game because it's better than the old version. And so we pull our resources and we get a 49-person a discount on that. You know, we split the cost of that 50 ways. And so my cost is 150 because there's 50 of us putting in there. And we replace that item as one example. Now, imagine applying that to your entire living experience. This is an example of preserving conditions that make life wonderful, wonderful through cooperation and collaboration instead of competition and saying, what can we do when we come together and we set our intent to create the most amazing environment possible? And so one community is answering that question by open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for comprehensive, sustainable living that includes food, energy, housing, fulfilled living, education, economics, and true earth stewardship, putting all that together in one place to create teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world to teach other people how to create these environments as well so that preserving conditions that make life wonderful is accessible to everybody, everywhere. These are solution models designed to create additional solution creating models in every category as well as the complete comprehensive teacher demonstration hub so that there's something there for everyone. Because when we're creating solution models in the food category or in the energy or in the housing or fulfilled living or even in the education and economics in each one of these areas, they're designed to be implemented modularly as well as the complete model. So again, something for everyone. So yeah, 500 updates, preserving conditions that make life wonderful. This is what we're doing. Designing it to build one community as a place that people can come and visit and experience what it is that we're talking about. It's designed, modeled after a club med model or like a cruise ship model where everything that you could imagine, more things than you can imagine to do are all within walking distance. Food is prepared by people that are professional preparers of food. In our case though, people that love to prepare food and in, in, in return for them preparing the food, somebody else is doing their laundry, you know, and helping clean the grounds and building homes and that kind of stuff. And so, you know, through a cooperative and collaborative model showing that preserving conditions that make life wonderful is we can create an entire environment purposed around that and we can open source and free share that and so this is what one community is doing and we want to create it such that the people there that the demonstration of what it is that we're creating people coming and visiting and experiencing this and a third of the community is designed for visitors to be able to come and experience what it is that we're doing through our ecotourism model people coming and visiting in a model like this will be transformed like they won't feel comfortable going back to an office job or a desk job or an environment that doesn't provide that same level of wonderful and amazing and enriching and self-growth and contribution and so that is our ultimate goal is to transform people for people to come and be like this is amazing like this is like living every day like it's a vacation you know and there's still hard work involved and things like that but the community aspect like the community glue the magic that happens in an environment like this and what we're capable of doing together and creating it together and knowing that we've created something like this that magic is priceless it's uh, pretty amazing to experience. And so that's what we want to share with people and then give them a clear path, a clear understanding of exactly how much it costs, how much labor it takes, like what's expected, and the guidance to be able to replicate it so that people create their own versions of one community to meet their own needs, their own values. And then hopefully it'll be built on the same type of model where they share it to generate the revenue so that they can expand indefinitely and in sharing and open sourcing and free sharing their changes, modifications, adaptations, creating even more open source content. And so that the idea and so that the, 
the concepts in each of the different categories are constantly expanding and growing to meet the needs of people everywhere. And so we can reach that tipping point, that critical mass of participation, so that preserving conditions that make life wonderful becomes a thing in the past because like that's already the norm and now we're focused not on preserving conditions that make life wonderful, but just how do we make life even more wonderful? You know, like the idea of Star Trek, the next generation or Star Trek in general, where they're talking about like, oh, you know, money's a thing of the past. Like now we focus on like growth and improving life for all people everywhere. Like we're capable of that. We have the knowledge right now to achieve that. And so one community is creating a clear path and designing itself to demonstrate what's possible and to then help other people to replicate that and create other versions and iterations as well. This is what we're up to. So um, yeah, weekly progress update, 500. Uh, I love you, you're awesome. Thanks for watching to the end. Um, stick around for a couple minutes if you'd like to see bullet points and all of the major components of our project. Visit our helping page if you'd like to help. And visit our weekly progress update if you'd like to see everything that our team has accomplished within the last week and our website if you'd like to see all of our open source content. But you know, reality of it is, is we're getting it done. Thanks for watching to the end. And until next week, we will of course, Keep on keeping on for another 500, another 1,000 weekly progress updates. This project is designed to go indefinitely. So, um, yeah, we're here for the long haul. Thanks for being a part of it with us. And um, until next week, have a good one. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to High's Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a High's Good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.